Good morning. Good morning. Well, good day. I think the morning. The morning is, is far spent. It's almost lunchtime now. And we'll start out with live a little bit late. But we're here. Position as the number one. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Zelma Dennis, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us, Zelma. Good morning, Zelma. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Yardy Belly's breakfast live. Well, brunch. It's still after 10. Well, to be left. I got it, babe. Don't worry about it. Leave it. I'll do it. Thank you. Alright, guys. This morning we're doing something very interesting. First of all, how are you guys doing? How is everybody? How is your Thursday morning? Your Ben Johnson morning going? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. Let me tell you why. Because it's super sunny. And the weather is sweet. It's fantabulous. The weather is copacetic. All right. So as you saw from the title, we're making roast fish. I'm not sure what the exact title was. It's just um, original Jamaican roast fish. Okay. Original Jamaican roast fish. So we have here two mega sized <laughs> fishes. Fish. Fish. <laughs> fish. And it is um, snapper. Mm -hmm. So we have that. And we're planning to stop. Oh, thanks to Renault. Thanks to Renault. Thanks to Renault. Pick up yourself, Renault. These, them fish here look nice and healthy. Like, when we say nice and healthy, them look nice and healthy. All right. So, we're stuffing them with some callaloo. And we have okras. And, of course, we have our seasonings, our onions, thyme, um, cilantro. Cilantro. Let us have it because I have it and I want it. It's just staying at the fridge and dry up. Mm -hmm. So may I use a little. It's not classic. We have here shadow benny, otherwise known as culantro. And we have butter and thing and thing and thing. And then of course you already know so with a normal. So of course we have to have our own like special additions to make it our own unique dish. Well, well, those are, those are not even, yeah, well, yeah, those are not really special, it's just substituting, like, the, 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 the bullion, the, they call it nogo, they call it nogo, babe, the maggi nogo, mm -hmm. yeah, so I just substitute, me, I substitute the nogo with the, with certain things, you know, right. and then pepper, I mean, uh, you, you're afraid of pepper, so I'm mean, going uh, to put a uh, country pepper in it, and I put the pepper sauce. That's the, that's the vibe. What do you think? Mm, yeah. Doing well. Yes, the weather is gorgeous down here. For real, for real, for real. All right. So right away, we're going to start on the fish and get them going so that they can get, you know, enough time to go in the oven. They're quick, you know, pretty quickly, usually. So we don't anticipate it taking super duper long once it hits the oven. All right, so let me get started right now. So the first thing we're going to do, get ladies, hold on, let me see if we can close in the camera a little bit. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to take off them something here and we're going to work on top of um, a, a piece of foil paper because this is how them, them uh, guys, excuse the, the, the mess on the board, we just cut up the cilantro. All right. So the first thing is you want to get one good piece of file paper, right, babes? Because mm -hmm. talk to them about the file paper we buy, when me buy the other day. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> the <laughs> oh God! Yeah. The uh -huh. wife was so mad with uh -huh. me with that with that file paper. Yeah, it was super thin. Once I when I'm looking for file paper, I buy heavy duty one. The heavy duty ones are normally thick. Oh, you know, I said to myself that um the wifey, the wifey um. 
you know, take out some okra, but me add more okra to my, to my, um, and then I'm going to slice it like such. And then I'm going to layer the fish on top of it. So the fish is going to be on top of it. Normally them would have put like crackers, but me no, I'm not, I'm not, you put crackers pan, no, you put crackers pan steamed fish, right? Not pan roast fish. Oh, yeah. Anybody want crackers pan for them one? Let me check. You two have not given me the thing to share. Okay. What do I click on? Give me a second, guys. Yeah. So, as you can see, hopefully you guys can see clearly. I'm just basically I slice some of these okra, and these this is gonna be the bed, right? That I put the the fish on top of. All right. So, like so, like so. All right. Now I have my callaloo here and let me just prepare my callaloo next. All right. Wait there. Fix my camera. Guys, we're not we're not a, a, a great big outfit with camera settings and all these things. So bear with us. All right. So now we just cut up some stuff in my callaloo. Cut up some skeleton. And you pretty much want to season your callaloo, so to speak. All right. And if you guys, if you have, if you have kale, let me tell you what's a good substitute for this. You can use kale. All right. Now, guys, don't, normally we don't cut up with, with skeleton like that. But for the thumbnail this morning, I, I left the skeleton hole and just, you know, so don't do this at home. Cut it from a cutting board. All right. So you just want to cut up your skeleton or green onion into your spinach you can use if you're not jamaican for instance or you, or you live in a space where you can't find callaloo readily jamaican callaloo you can add um you can use kale or you can use um maybe wait where greens and them babes um beet greens um turnip greens Anything green. Anything to be green. Not lettuce though. I don't know if you can use collard green because it's hard to Yeah, cook. collard green hard. Alright, I have a little bit of time. Oh, I just cut up some culantro. The culantro. I have some time to add to that. Good um, morning, Lancelot Harris. Good morning, Lancelot. And then now I add the the onion. Alright. And and any on any color onion can be added. It's just that we happen to have one of these um, onions. And guys, let me just quickly show you something. When you when you cut your onion, guys, make sure you have a you have a, a, a airtight container to put your remainder onion in. All right, as much as possible. Don't just put your onion in the fridge or put in a bag or whatever. Put in a something where you know, because onion do absorb a little bit of the bacteria from from the air. All right. So there you have the the so now I'm gonna put some garlic again. The the, the 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 ingredients that you add to your fish to your callaloo is all depend on you. All right. So I have some crushed garlic here, minced garlic. I just want to put that because it's a little bit less um, stronger than the, the regular fresh garlic. You know. That's right there. Then. I have my, yeah. no, I'm going to use this. I have some of my, my okra, all right? Stop and it. I have my okra like such. And this I go, no, just, you know, cut up some of the okra in this. Thank you so much, official Jamie. Please, guys, show, show your love. Drop a thumbs up on this video. You know, guys, I'm actually 
today is actually one of the days when I'm actually outside working in the yard. So I had to just come and take a quick break to do this video because the wife is said she does like when I make the steam fish because the steam fish just um where? Oh roast fish, sorry. She like when you know say lie me I tell though. You, you, you can know say lie me I tell come you may attack foolishness. <laughs> you, you never say nothing, you know. So, Good morning if you are watching and you are behind the scenes feel free to go ahead and type a good morning to us type a hello to us type a how you doing to us just but guess what we haven't done we have not told you guys that we are you no 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 you have to put the camera on yourself and you're looking smashing today i must have not looking smashing you're looking very smashing today turn the camera around and let the people them see you want to see the no food them me, no may i pause the food me not about to cook nothing if you're not turning it on yourself look how she cute we're not seeing you stop <laughs> i'm not i'm done i'm gonna mm -hmm. go back to work guys look at this beautiful beautiful young lady eh? she is just a vision of loveliness there she is, a vision of love. All right, that's not the song. Oh. We are live, live, live. Yardy belly is live. Live in the kitchen, we're live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy belly is live. Yardy belly TV we live. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy belly is cooking. We're cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yardy belly is cooking. Yardy belly TV. We cooking, cooking, cooking. Steam fish, steam fish. And a steam fish. Roast fish, roast fish, roast fish. Roast fish. Only can say roast fish fast. That's a tongue twister. Yes, it is. It is. Roast fish, roast fish, roast fish. We're cooking roast fish. We're making. Yeah, we're making roast fish. Good morning, one and all, but we are super duper happy to have each and every one of you. Good morning to you. Kogo PSV. Go, Kogo, PS, Kogo PSV. I, 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 I'm trying to pronounce it. If we're massacring your name, my apologies. Look who in the look who in the chat room, see? Ooh, 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 ooh. Coffee come in like a rapture. <laughs> hey, hey. Coffee come in like this one coffee I'm showing a face. <laughs> coffee come in like a rapture. And everybody get captured. Play a little like a helicopter. <laughs> when you see the lyrical. Coffee. My name is the, the camera and follow to the tripod though. <laughs> Happy, welcome, my girl. We have missed you dearly. We have not seen you in a year. Trust me. But we're still going strong. We're still holding on. And we still doing our thing. And we're almost at the 100,000 mark. Yes, guys. Well, and if you have a Facebook... Or uh, Twitter, be sure to just share the live. And guys, go follow Jane, official Jamie, follow Coffee's Kitchen, follow mm -hmm. our people. If you have a channel that you are promoting, you know, and you are part of our, our live audience, we appreciate you and we want you to, want the folks to follow you. Can, can you stop the dancing? You know, never call pastor one talking about it. <laughs> and we're happy to report that I'm people in the Jamaican, um, Arena or the Caribbean Arena are not the only people watching. We have people who are watching from all over the world. Namely, um, America. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Where you told me that the videos are being watched? From India, from the UAE. We have folks watching from Africa. Australia. We have folks watching from Australia. Mm -hmm. So we big up our international community. And we have folks watching from Trinidad and Tobago's. Mm -hmm. Chini, chi all right. So, guys, this is one of the the the, the um, ingredients that have that is not, you know, traditional. Um, traditional, all right. But what I do is what I find I use, and mm -hmm. this is a soup base powder, all right. It's oh, vegan. Okay. I can't I can't get to the things. Use your words. 
Thank you, Chef. This is my opinion, guys. So this is a vegan soup base, and you, you, you know it does provide all of the all of that little stuff that where they where they the um maggi seasoning would have provided. Mm -hmm. All right. Good morning. Good morning to you, Miss Burke from Queens in the house. Hey, New, York's New York's in the, the house. house. Hey, hey baby, 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 come on, baby, baby, baby come on, baby, 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 come on. And you can walk. And this is um a homemade pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. The wife, you don't like pepper, guys, so... What's in that pe pepper sauce? Pepper and sauce. <laughs> You're so unfunny. <laughs> well, it has, a, it has a little bit of um, garlic. Yeah, I'm aware of it. it can be not, the pepper cannot be the No, man, it's nice, man. It's nice, man. It has some nice pepper. The pepper flavor is strong. Mm. And I think it's from Trinidad. I think Auntie Charity gave me this from Trinidad. You know? Mm -hmm. um, from our, our son-in-law mm. um, crew. Okay. So. So the pepper sauce, you know. So and guys, see? there you have it. Our callaloo, our onions, our thyme, mm -hmm. and our soup. Okra. Our um, vegan seasoning, broth base. Mm -hmm. Our okras and um, more to come. <laughs> more to come. So guys, look at this. So babes, who we are called today? We are calling African friend? What? Why would I call my African friend? <laughs> and say, hello. You cooking the food oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call your mom. You really ever call my mom? Yeah, because she needs to walk me through the, the making of the turn for me. Okay. And guys, made us add in some butter. Yeah? Normally, normally we put the butter all over the fish. Let me show them. Just put the butter all over the fish. May, they uh, may I turn it around? What about this pepper and salt? Wait, no. You the, put the, that first? No, you put the butter and then the pepper and salt stick to the butter. Oh, I thought the pepper and salt, would, the butter would block. The no, man. <laughs> okay. So, and again, guys, different homes do it different ways. You know, me just I got you, cut and got you, so bear with me. All right? You understand? What about the slate? Oh, beans, man. Yeah, your confusion me now, man. You make me all turn this up before I put the butter. <laughs> sure. Watch out now, watch out now. The okra stick funny. <laughs> you see, she's confusion, you guys. Real life, real life. Hey. So we just put some regular pepper right here. And some regular salt. Salt right there. Just seasoning the outside of the fish. Now, guys, the wife asked about the slit. Mm -hmm. Normally, in a Jamaica, we, we, we do something like so. You know, just put some slit down on the fish. We make it soak when we are fry it. It's not absolutely 100% necessary when we are roast it. But, you know, because the wife says so, it shall be done. So, I'm going to put back these now. <laughs> Sorry for the little. You know, my thing, my thing now look um, as, as, you know. All right, see there? Look back normal again now. Yeah. All right. Claudette VT. See, Claudette VT it said the, it the, the butter, the all the seasoning. Okay, okay. Good morning to you, girl. So we just put the butter on it like such. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the butter now I got mixing mix in the color loop go inside of the belly. Mm -hmm. Yes, zimmy. And then now we we'll go mm -hmm. back again with more pepper. Mm -hmm. And more salt. And then, let me just mix in the butter a little bit more. And room temp, if your butter is not room temperature, guys, just cut it in a, in a little squares, little blocks, and just add it. You know, you're not happy, you're not happy worried to make your butter room temperature. It just so happened that this was. So like right. how you use that pepper sauce, you don't need um, country pepper? I I mean, it depends on how hot you want it. I'm, I'm doing it mild because uh, of you, mm -hmm. you know, but, and I know the pep, this pepper, is, it can work in a mild settings, but you know, and then guess what you can also do now? Yes, when the fish don't steam. No junk season, when the fish No. When the fish don't roast, you can add back this to the finished dish okay. to, to intensify your pepper, Yeah. you know? 
Let me try to taste piece of piece of this. Ooh, a little bit more, a little bit more salt. Mm-hmm. But the pepper is nice though. Woo. Well, I probably try already. <laughs> more of the seasoning. More of the seasoning. So if you're not good at estimating your stuff, you can go ahead and taste. I mean, you can eat greens um, raw. Yeah. So taste it. Make sure so you're doing what you want it to do. No jerk seasoning in the stuffing. Do you think so? Um, Part of VT can be waiting. Should I put jerk seasoning in the stuffing? Not really. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Look on that. This is good. You have to pay attention, my baby. You can't be watching me and not watching the camera. You're the camera person for today. I some I don't mind, but with some jerk seasoning to mind. So a lot of people do, yeah, a lot of people put jerk seasoning in for them one. Mm -hmm. What I could do is a, is a swift compromise. So I have this, this dry jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. What I could do as a swift compromise is to just... Because if you weren't doing like if you didn't add the pepper before maybe you could have you know used the jerk seasoning plus the spice mm -hmm. the spice level would you know not be that intense so tell me where you make over this and all this where oh over here i am planning to make some turn corn meal with corn never did that before <laughs> Turn with corn. Yeah, corn, turn cornmeal. So we have this. We have um, the corn, the corn which I cut off of the cob. I have some cornmeal. Of course, you know you need your coconut milk, and you need your seasonings like your salt, mustard, vinegar. Pepper. I put paprika a little bit. So your garlic powder. I'm gonna put fresh, I think I'm gonna put fresh garlic and fresh onions. Okay. And by right, it would be great if I had fresh thyme, but I don't, so I'm gonna use this, the, the dried thyme leaves. Yeah. And we have minced onion here, but yeah. Oh, very important. I need pimento seeds. Pimento seeds, I believe, is very, very good for that. So I'm looking for it. Yeah, but I have to go find it afterwards. All right, so we just have to add some of the jerk seasoning, the dry one, mm -hmm. to this, making sure so it goes on the head, you know? Mm -hmm. And that is just, again, a flavor, mm -hmm. all right? Flavor tone. Okay. So do you not, you know, put, like, um, garlic powder and stuff? Nah. Because, okay. I mean, we, we put, uh, this, this is properly seasoned already. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can overdo the thing, you know? Okay. You see me? Sometimes we can overdo the thing when you overdo. Put, 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 put. You start to lose the essence of the dish. Mm -hmm. You see me? So, you know. We have garlic in the stuffing already. Guys, I know people eat fish raw. I'm eating them sushi. <laughs> no, I mean, other than sushi. People just... Um, no, listen, babes. Mm -hmm. Any raw fish where you're eating in sushi or sashimi. Oh, it, it is a given name for raw fish. You know, you have to prepare like, you know, all this look. All this look, baby. Good. So I don't say no water crackers. <laughs> no, because the wife here yeah, make turn corn meal. So, mm -hmm. the turn corn meal. You don't know, like turn corn meal for that? Mmm. Radamonium. Big up to you from Joshua Tree Joshua in California. Tree. That's a that's a place. Yeah, Joshua Tree is a very nice place. Is that actually. City? Okay. Yeah, Joshua Tree is one of those places where you get um where a lot of of off graders live. Mm. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's like a desert. Oh well. It's a nice place. So shout out to California in the house. Joshua Tree is in the house. Hey. hey. Baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. See that? On. You see how me just do all that about? Yeah, you cilantro? just... Okay. It just... You just, me just turn it up a notch. Mm -hmm. You understand? No. Get fit and done. Big up yourself. 
Get fit and done. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. So now, watch this now. So he just sprinkled some freshly cilantro. cut cilantro over top of the fish. And now he's cutting up some, slicing up some okra more. Some more okra. <laughs> some okra more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this is where if you wanted to do the, the um, what's up, your name? If you wanted to do the crackers, mm -hmm. you could go ahead. Yes. You know, and add your crackers right now. Yes. You see me? But this stuff, uh, this is basically what we can, where we are gonna do. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a lot of kalalu here. We could have put some more kalalu around it and stuff, but mm -hmm. that make it stay. You want more kalalu around it? Because mm -mm. you want when it to, you come out, the fish is you know visible. It's visible, not. right? Knacker, knacker. <laughs> There's no such word. All right, so now you just want to fold in your fish into the package. Mm -hmm. You envelope the fish. Looking good, sir. <laughs> random, ran, random, hmm? randomonium says love the food and it's done with love. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We had a different paper rusher. I, I mean, cut it small, man, but it's good. It's good. Mm. Just make it, make it um, tight. So, guys, you package your fish, your fish, how you comfortable with, with doing your, your wrap, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just making a, a relatively simple package, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna roast in the, in the oven because again, normally this would be roasted on a grill. You see me? Oh, for real? Oh, you mean yeah, like, man, a like a drum pan thing? Yeah, drum roasted on a grill outside. Oh. But we are going to roast it in the oven because, guys, we're in the process of setting up the place how we want it. So bear with me. I put more file paper around this to make it um, to make it it sealing. The maestro. <laughs> Seal in. The maestro. The maestro. Okay, so to put the pot in here, the fish, the last thing, I'm going to have a flat thing. So there we have our first one and we're gonna just quickly work on the next one um, while the wifey is showing you how she goes about doing her turn corn meal. Right baby? Yeah. Where are the way? Right? Yeah man, that's right. All right, so let me grab back a more, more foil. Oh, what a long story. Yes, oven will do the same thing. Thank you, Claudia BT. The oven shall do the same thing. Adding my, my, my butter down, and this guys, when you use, you have to do different utensils for the different different things. Then, you know, you can just use up the same utensil all the time. So, sorry about that. You just slicing my okras that I'm gonna lay it down. And as I said, if you're doing crackers, this is what you would do. Basically, put your crackers down. You know, as as the the foundation, the firmament of the illa creation. As well, in base, mm -hmm. firmament of the illa creation. Mm -hmm. Your version. <laughs> so once you do that, now you basically have to get your fish um, ready to add the stuffing. So. Put my fish down there and I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter 
I'm not gonna let the, the fork touch the butter in this regard because I am gonna use this butter after using the oil. So I'm not make the fork touch the butter, but just drop it. You notice you have to do you can um, cross contamination. You understand? So you just put some some butter upon the fish. Like so, like so. Alright. Try to walk you through this. Hold on, may I, may I get them may I get them the, the steps again real quick. Then you put pepper. Put your pepper down. And you put your salt. Sea salt. And then you're gonna turn this turn this over to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And do the same thing on the other side. Take the butter and drop it. Alright? Because you don't want this this butter, this utensil to touch, the butter to touch um, the fish. Uh, babes, you can move this butter for me. No, yeah, move this butter for me now, baby. I'm done with it. Okay. Yeah. On the fork? Yes, please. All right. Let me just put the, any excess, because it's going to form a nice little juice in the, the container. All right, so make sure you get all the excess into the cavity of the fish. All right, you come back again with your pepper, and there's just a difference with with um with um red with um freshly grown pepper than you know the one the one that's already grown in the store. There's such a difference, great difference. All right, all right. Let me turn this around. All right, so I can go ahead and start to stuff the cavity of this fish with my delicious Kalaloo okra mixture. All right, no, hold on, the jerk seasoning. Not forgetting the pilot VT, I did not forget my jerk seasoning. So you just drizzle your jerk seasoning in the cavity, make sure they go up now the, the head part and all about the place. Yeah? And that's extra flavor tone right there, about. All right, and then you start stuffing, stuffing. Make sure you go up in the gill area there, sir. Yeah, so you pull it up, pull it up. Yeah, man. All, all boats, all boats in this thing. Yeah. And you remember your color logo will down a little bit and so it's gonna pro pro provide a little nice juice vibes you know yeah yeah man i saw the thing set i make sure the fish sitting on the okra put the butter yeah and the leftover color low juice remember me tell us that now nah, that's what that can steam you see me? That can put in the in the package and steam it down nicely. You know, I like what I want to look in the babes. I want to look nice. This is gonna be the thumbnail one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just gonna leave this and then I'm probably put this in the microwave. I microwave it real quick and make this soften up. Yeah. How that look, guys? And then you come back with your fresh cilantro and just add some fresh cilantro and then i have another two piece of okra down here but i'm just gonna wait now i'm just gonna add a couple pieces just to a little barrier between the the foil paper and the, the the actual fish itself just a little barrier you know if any burning or going if it the, it it start get charred it this would have got this would have happened to this first you get what me i say yeah you know i say good morning gwen lewis good morning monique good 
Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We are steam some fish here in the, in the day. Yeah. Many roast some fish. You understand? With some okra and some thing. You see me? So, I saw the thing set this morning, you know? Yeah, the belly TV. And as I said, guys, me not really 200 with it with the actual wrapping of the, of the something. So, I do my best and then make Jesus do the rest. You understand? Right? That's all I can do in this life. Do my best and let Jesus do the rest. You understand? See there? You just wrap him up. Wrap him up nicely. You see me? I have to get these more files because I don't want that, that seal, the part that seal. Nice, you see it? Where's the file paper, please? Up there. Oh. One more. And, and remember, forget good file. Don't be like me. And go buy cheap file because the cheap files almost cost, cost us more than one use of the cheap file and the cheap file cause problems. Get fit, you're there. You have to go walk with your own fish, brother. <laughs> you have to go walk with your own fish, get fit. <laughs> because me no say this I want something with this lady and I share. And as for me, I'm not sharing it neither. You said good morning to Tatlin. Good morning, Tatlin Morris. Blessings and to you. Game. Gwen. No, game with Cree? Game with Cree, TV. good Game with Cree, good morning to you. Blessings, blessings. I heard you say good morning to Gwen. Look, it's already good morning okay. to you. Good morning. So guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is ready to go into a preheated oven. Yeah? At 300 and something degrees. And it's gonna be in there for a while. All right, so the wife, you know, of our corn that she are boiling. Tell us what's going on here, baby. I'm boiling one ear of corn. One ear? With, with three. How so long you boil it? <laughs> one whole year? <laughs> one ear of corn with three pimento balls. No, my girl, my girl. Pimento seeds. My girl, pimento baby. Why does that say auto? I want a connection bit. You understand? You're not boiling nothing with no balls in ya. Then mommy tell you. Right, so that the corn is kind of pre boiling before I add um, some of the other stuff. I'm going to be adding the seasonings to the, to the corn water initially. And of course, corn is not a traditional ingredient in your turn corn meal. But hey, it is what it is. But the corn are turn right now in that pot, so you're at it right. You're right. Exactly. I see that corn. Come it's turning. turning. From the west down to the east. And guys, excuse the singing, she always I try to follow me. You understand? <laughs> but who me no say I am the singer and she is the not singing. Alright, so here I have um some onions. Back at the camera and now. we have I have to make sure the thing is in the frame. It's in the frame. I okay, that's it. what I'm trying to say. Whatever. Me and the camera officer. It has the onion and the garlic in there. I'm just adding that to the thing to boil for flavor. Yes. And then I'm just going to be sprinkling some of my um, dry thyme leaves because I don't have the wet one. Dry thyme leaves cause me not the wet one. Wet one in the morning and wet one in I'm sorry for the knocking and all that guys. Now clean up. Alright, so I'm not slow. Clean up. What a best stuff. Anything else guys? What else going into um what kind of other seasons? Oh scallion. Oh it's a scallion, right? It's a scallion, scallion, baby. Right? scallion here. That's all? Mm-hmm. Some wood. Alright. Alright, so 
course, I'm using the scissors to cut up some scallion. Oh, don't forget some of scallion tree. You know what say I'm gonna love the tree that make them prosper. Why? Them not ready for cut yet, my girl. My girl. Why them tall, tall? As you plant the something two days ago, they got cut the something then. <laughs> my girl. What are they? It's super tall. <laughs> and guys, me have to tell her to go put back the, the orchid outside here, yeah, man. Because she take over the orchid and the orchid vex, you know. Me see the, you know see the orchid vex right now with you? Mm -hmm. Yes, the orchid is it very upset. Wait, wait, so. Because you're exploiting him. You didn't care about him until you see him. Alright, so I have a uh, come off of the pot a little bit. I have my um coconut milk powder. This is the Grace brand, which is at this moment my favorite brand. Add some hot water to it because it makes it easier to um Dilute, right? Mm-hmm. Come on, I forget help me with the turn meal thing. I mean, I've made turn meal before, but every time I make it, it's like I'm trying to remember how it's done. I think every time I make it, it's made differently, but that's fine. We will see how today's own is made. All right, so now I'm going to be pouring in this half cup of it. I only put half cup of, of the water. Add that to that. And make it come back to a rolling boil. Corn don't take too long to cook. But I want to make sure that the corn is properly cooked before adding the cornmeal. Because once I add in the cornmeal, it's game over. It's, you know, the corn won't be boiling anymore so i want to make sure that it's properly cooked before adding the cornmeal all right matthias one i see if it is cooked i love turn cornmeal with crispy bits what is what kind of crispy bits what kind of crispy bits let me know is it bacon bits because if you're saying bacon bits you call my name wow the corn tastes like it cook already man are you serious? The corn cook very fast, you know. Right. Remember that coconut, uh, yeah. H Hello, mom. Good morning. Morning, you're, uh -huh. you're, you are live on my YouTube channel. Good morning, mom. Uh -huh. So let me turn the camera around so that you can see your your daughter in law is making turn corn meal and need your help. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell go her. Quickly, go quickly because I'm I'm about to step out to go to a funeral. Oh, okay. So. The, oh, you at so I got the funeral? No, sir. Yes, sir? One piece of atness. <laughs> One piece of atness here here up in a hair and all these oh, things. Right. I'm I'm perp yellow blouse and red sitting. A, a Rasta funeral? No, the red top not going. That's only keeping down the hair until my drive come. And it look like my drive is about to Yeah, no. So, all right. May I go call, may I go call my sister then? And my sister will no, walk her through. She oh, she did her work? No, 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 no. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Tell her what you have in the pot, see. Tell her what you have in the pot. So, um, I have what, the coconut what, milk. What is in the pot? Coconut what milk. Is in the pot? Coconut milk with um onion. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you know you're alive, right? She gone, sure. she gone, she gone. <laughs> when she the bottom up. catch lightly before it burn, you stir the crispy oh, bottom through the whole pot. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that, that's how I was for real. All, All right, right, so, so give, me, give me the lorries. Let me put a little lorry. So now I'm seasoning the milk. So you are seasoning before you add the coconut? Before you add the, 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 the cornmeal? You have to. I don't know, may I ask you, because you, you are the input. Yeah, you have to flavor the water before you add in the cornmeal. Because you are you the say, chief executive must office. Say immediately after I add the cornmeal, you know, it's going to start. Stick up. Go on with itself. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what else you need? You want coconut oil? I think I like coconut oil for going on. Guys, coconut oil for going on. So I'm putting lorries, guys. So, so far I put as seasoning, garlic powder, lorries. 
One bottle of coconut oil. See, Mama called by now. One bottle of coconut oil. You just wait, don't you? I just said coconut oil, because I know it's a boy with no coconut oil. Hello? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, what? Yeah, what are you saying at the pot, saying at the pot now? Onion, pimento, garlic, coconut water, and water. And of course. Coconut water? Coconut milk. Coconut, <laughs> coconut milk. Uh -huh. and, and water. And uh -huh. I'm going to put the like, corn in there, but the corn, no, ignore the corn. Corn? Why did you put the corn in the turn corn meal? Just ignore the corn <laughs> part there. That's how we stay. Blessings to Steve All from right. St. Louis. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. With the corn meal. With, with the corn meal, with water, or, co or more coconut milk, oh, and go and add it and keep stirring. Oh, but what happened to the seasoning part, like powder seasoning? Yeah, that you don't have to worry about that. Me if he's safe for this. Put all the seasoning in the coconut milk. Put everything in there where you want to put in there before you add the, 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 the corn meal. You hear that? The guys? Last, go go in. You hear that, guys? That's my mama in Jamaica. Let me introduce you to her. That's my mama in Jamaica, and she is the chief executive office when it comes to the cooking. You understand? So, mommy says, whip everything, put every. You have any seasoning else over here? So, where you want me to show in, I see? Everything, everything. You yeah. put, put in any meat kind or any fish kind? No, we are we, we are, we are roast, roast two fish in the oven for, for, for go with it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, put everything, all the seasoning, everything where you want. All oh, the seasoning. Hi, what yeah, the hell? She said, wet the cornmeal. I mean, I think I wet the cornmeal. She said, Yeah, no. she said, wet the cornmeal. Wet the cornmeal because if you put it in dry, you're going to have to deal with a lot of lumps, and the lumps not easy to Put more, stop. baby. We want a little bit more water, baby. Okay. And then when you put it in now and start adding the corn, you start turn. Don't stop turning until you see start coming, getting together. Okay, now put it in black pepper. Mm. Give me Just the, keep give turning while you're turning after. While you're putting in, you're turning and keep turning until you see start get together like turn corn. So we are learning, guys. So we are learning. We are learning. Then you low in this heat. Mm -hmm. We are all learning to... from the matriarch. So hold on there. So the, the texture of the real, the good texture of the turn farm is supposed to be where you can fork it or it's supposed to be smooth. What kind of bad word that you tell my mother? Stop it. Yes, you can fork it. it Mommy, it's you are your answer <laughs> request bad word. What kind of bad word do not cost me something? What kind of... <laughs> no. What happens that you don't want to get too tough? Yeah. Don't make, don't make it tough because when it's tough, come oh, like a dog, you have to feed it. Wait, Yeah. Just make it, just she make must it add nice coconut time. oil, mommy, because that's all I advocate for from man in no coconut oil. Pure coconut oil, me at all about the whole day. But if you put in coconut milk, you don't need coconut oil. But you need little oil to make it make it oilable. Alright, let me put it in. Well, if you want the oilable, throw in the oilable in the in the, in the coconut milk. Dip, then, put your hand lower there, darling. As we say, everything what you want to put in there, put Keep it in the coconut that. milk. Guys, she adding she adding in the, the, the something now. And whatever powder season you want put in there. But not and guys, you have, you this is the stirring part. portion of the, the, the dish where you have to stir it. Go on, go on, add it. When you put the cornmeal, when you're putting in the cornmeal, like when the real stirring thing comes out. Yeah, on, so I, she, have she, has been, she has been stirring the whole morning. All right, I'm going to add a little water to that pan there, just in case. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's in now. And I'm... So when you come together now, yeah, like you see, it look like turn corn meal. You want it? Yeah. You're listening to me? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma when you see it come together like turn corn meal, you know, you're lowering this, this, this flame and cover it a little, make it go on simmer. Oh, okay. How oh, this look, guys? Right. Lower the flame. Lower it. I wonder if you need more water. Then the, the corn meal going in already? Yeah. yeah. It's in. And it's get tick up, tick up. It in, but I wonder if you need more water because it, it, it look tick up, tick up. If it look, if it look, if it look too tight up, you, 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 you add like more water because you don't want it too tight up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. all right. yeah. I think it's all right now. Yeah. But what kind of seasoning? Yeah, what kind of seasoning? Yeah, in the car. Mom, what kind of seasoning do you typically put in yours? We put onion, scallion, garlic, thyme, pepper. And the Jamaican seasoning. Oh, I'm not putting no pepper. I mean, uh, add all, I mean, add all, a little all-purpose seasoning in there. Oh, yeah, oh. we use, use Larry's. We have the Larry's seasoned salt. Mm, you're right, so you add a little 
cream there, but you try to taste it, that you know, over so salt, you know, just to eat that flavor. Turn on the video. She, she, uh, she, she don't do the video. You want the video, mommy, if you see it? No, let me see it because I'm soon gone. All right. Is it too thicky? Let me switch to video. Accept the video. See it there now. Let me it, turn it around. Is it too ticky? You look ticky to me. Put more water. No, I don't think you need more water. Guys, want to say it need more water? May I ask, may, may ask my listening audience. Guys, don't it need more water? Don't tell her. Agree with me. Lift it up. Let me see candy. Hmm? See there. It not look like it want no more water. It it look, the store one turned down. It looks like it was washed, stir up and shut down and steam now. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, mom. Thank you very, very much. Tatlin, I was hoping you would join me and say it one more water in a Tatlin. I was hoping. It depends on the lowest denominator. It depends on the lowest denominator now, mommy. She want butter in it? Oh, butter. I want more butter. Yeah, 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 you can put butter. Guys, you see, I'm here for your help. Oh, she know. Okay, she, okay. She's um, what you show up being what you show up being a guys. That's my beautiful mom right there in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you know the country people them. My all right, mommy, go and go look on the body because they are big things. I wanna turn the camera around, mommy. Let me see the body. Turn. <laughs> Turn the camera so me see the body. Turn the camera around, let me see the body. Impact, impact, impact. So I want piece of running that the body there run go the run. Guys. Yes, I see the hair. I see the hair, mommy. I see the hair. And this is my natural hair, okay? <laughs> yeah, the showing off. Let's see. No, no, watch watch it. No man, but hold on. The daughter in law have purple hair and the mother <laughs> have purple hair. Well, go on. You see candy here, mommy? Look on candy here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Guys, I'm adding butter. Oh, so. <laughs> now the body gone up and the little car me waiting and the mother had the sun just called me and said, from morning, she'll wait for him and all of him to return. It look like I could not have to go, go up to the body. <laughs> and the sun is so hot. <laughs> well. All right, mommy, thank you so much. May I talk me show you what I'm going with the end result? With the steam fish, oh, okay. with the roast fish. Okay. All right, love you. Love you. Bye bye. Love you too. Bye bye. <laughs> Guys, that was my mom in Jamaica, and she had to walk us through the steam fish process. The steam fish process. Oh, they're, they're, they're waiting in the process. All right, so let me cover this, like she say, and make it go and do it, ting, ting, ting. Because Just turn on the flame, the flame it's on low. the lowest denominator. The lowest denominator. So guys, that's the escapade that we were on for today. You know, trying to steam fish, trying to roast, sorry, roast fish and, and also make um turn car meal. It is good when you have a community that Tatlin says, Tatlin says, um, Thank you so much, Gwen. Tatlin says, put little butter. Tatlin agree with my mother for put little butter and, and, and make the something steam down. And, and then, you know, nobody never they agree with me when I say coconut oil. But it's all right. It's all right, you know. I must buck, you know. She say your mom is beautiful. Thank you so much, Everybody guys. She say your mom is beautiful. Thank you so much. That's why I, I born so cute. <laughs> Greetings from St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri in, in the, the house. St. Louis, Louis in the house. house. Hey, baby, baby, baby come, come on. on. Baby, baby, baby. Good morning, Steve. Ola, Mac. Cheese and Good morning, guys. Thank you so much. Guys, if it's your first time you're joining us, please give us a thumbs up. And, of course, share this page with your local pages and your local friends and family. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And oh. we are at 96,000. And so, guys, if you all share it, we will get there. We will make that mark. We will hit that, that milestone. And 100,000 subscribers, for me, it's, it's, a, it's nice to... It's a big deal. You know, for just a little guy with his wife and, and I do a little thing. Cook little food and his son. It's a big deal, guys. And so, please, help us to get there. And thank you all, everybody, 
who been on the journey with us. You understand? Now, for those persons who've been on the journey and the journey has gotten you a little bit um, constipated, remember the one-day detox. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been on the journey and the journey has gotten you a little bit sticky, you understand? Remember the one-day detox, okay? And the number is to, to dial, you can text to get this. The one-day detox is 305 <laughs> um, 305-204-1270. All right? So thank you guys once again for, for, for joining us. And remember the one-day detox is is um all natural you know i've been i've been blessed by the company to be a representative of theirs and to be able to you know bring it to you guys and um it's a jamaican company in fort lauderdale they grow the, the, the produce as a matter of fact them just by a farm in closer to where we are living and they grow the product themselves they grow the, the, the produce themselves it, everything is organic there is absolutely no chemicals in this is just a combination of herbs and let me tell you what it use it is used for it is used for an energy booster. If you have poor diet, if you have body odor, constipation, pain in the chest and stomach, it helps to cleanse your lungs, your kidney, your liver, and also used to burn belly fat and more. And you take one of these, guys. Sunday morning, I took my cleanse. I took, I took almost a full bottle of cleanse. All right? And, and it was not only by choice, but it was ne necessary. If you have constipation issues, this works. Stay home. Take the full buckle. We have repeat customers. People been ordering all over. It's free shipping in the USA. If you're in the USA, it's free shipping. Um, if you're outside of the USA, unfortunately, you have to pay for the shipping. But I promise you, when you talk about other cleanses that hurt your belly and give you bad stomach, you don't have to take a, a, a pill every day. You know, you have some people you have to take a pill every day for 14 days and all them something. No, you stay home and you drink the entire bottle. Now, I'm going to tell you, this tastes like herbs. It is not a pleasant taste. However, I've been doing this now for the past year and a half. And I promise you guys, I am happy every time I go through the experience of drinking this. Some people who say it is the worst thing that they have ever had in their life, they've been ordering again. All right? And um, yeah, I'm just inviting you to, to, to get this one. The information is in the, the chat box. You can dial the number, text the number, and we will get it to you. I ask, we, we do Zelle or Cash Up, you know, and thing and thing, and we're inviting you to check this one out. All right? Check it out. Do not sleep on this one. One of the number one problems that we have right now in the world is people are not detoxing. You understand? Detoxing remove a whole heap of problem out of your stomach. You have people walking around now with food from last year. You understand? Thanksgiving, them still are carrying around Thanksgiving and Christmas food, mm -hmm. Valentine's food. I promise you, a lot of people are struggling to lose weight because their intestinal walls are blocked and they're, they're, they're not getting rid of the baggage. And also, this is where stuff like cancer and them something they're farming at the gut because we have food inside of us decomposing for long. Somehow we sluggish our energy, you know? How can I, I order from you, Miss Burke? There is a number in the chat box. See it right there. 305 204 1270. Again, 305 204 1270. You know why I have to say the number? Why? Because there are people who are watching oh. later and they can oh. see the chat box. Okay, so Miss Burke, just text that number and we'll get back to you immediately after the live is done. And, and walk you through the steps, all right? Zell or Cash App, we have the information for you. 305-204-1270. That's 305-204-1270. And also, guys, when you order, you go a far away in helping Yardabelly TV to not only access food, you know, for, for cook, but, you know, what do you call it? Stimulate your income. I stimulate that word. Stimulate our income. Stimulate. Stipulate or something. Help, yeah. help with make little money. You understand? So thank you once again. Now, help us to get like, some gadgets and tools that we he, need. Oh, Lord that Jesus, we can't Lord Jesus. Right Guys, we, we need, need one grill. May I see if I buy one grill? You understand? And the grill not, it not overly expensive, but you know, things are relative. 
It, yeah, you know, and you know, overly cheap neither. Things are relative. So we are safe to buy a grill. One of the tabletop grill, because we have one George Foreman grill. We, we still have the George Foreman grill. And I'm not really ungrateful to George Foreman, but he never really think it through when he did make that grill. Mm -hmm. I think he did get licking him head one at the time and just said, you know what, I'm going to make a grill. Mm -hmm. But it never... Guys, one, the grill now have no power button. You have to plug it in. Every time you plug it in, fire gash. Two, it not have no, no, no um, gauge to turn it up or turn it down. It not have no form of gauge. That's, no, that's number two, the worst. Number three, the top and the bottom hot just the same. No, the top hotter than the bottom. Me shouldn't have said bottom, you know. The top part is hotter than the lower part. Yeah. It just gets considerably hotter the longer it is plugged in. And so, if you're not careful, it burn up the food. So, we, we, we saw this nice um, cuisine art grill that is, is bigger, can hold more food, and then it has a, a, an, an attachment where you can open the whole of it out into a, into a griddle, you know? And then you can take off also, take off the, the, the heating plates and spin them around, and you can scramble eggs, pan it, and do a whole like a different, a like a flat top. And so, we, I'm, I'm aiming for that. And so, all of these little um extra incomes that we're earning goes towards buying something like that tanya johnson good tanya. morning big up yourself tanya big up yourself big up yourself and tanya, tanya you miss his mom tanya yes tanya you miss my mom i'm so upset about this tanya my mom was on the live and you miss my mom i feel so hurt <laughs> Guys, also, we are <laughs> oh supplement. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. You see, your term will stimulate my income. Tanya, you have to give me the big word. You can stimulate the income too, no? So, what may I always hear people say? I mean, I understand well, that you know, you know, that stimulate people. argument. That is a sound very well, stimulating. A sound stimulate sound. Prove the point, stimulate so not like a way like why would you need stimulate? When you stimulate something, it's like you you give it a, my girl. I don't understand. I say stimulate and a gossip. Tanya, she's a stimulate. When you stimulate, why are you going like this to stimulate? Oh god, guys. So the wife and I have a little company. It's called One True Natural. Let me see if I can show you guys the, the full dose. One true natural. And one true natural, we are the purveyors of this Jamaican black castor oil. All right, this is pure, one hundred percent unadulterated castor oil. This is from Jamaica. We receive the shipment from a friend who has a farm, and he is the one who process, grows, and process the, the Jamaican black castor oil and makes and make it affordable to us. All right, and so this is if you have hear problem, you hear a, a tin out. If you have, um, wait, wait, tell me about the castor something, baby. If you have ear problem, yeah, if you have hair loss, if you if have, you have to pierce down the edge just so with glue with um with gel because your baby ear turn adult ear, right? If you have any issues with your edges because of you know, probably over um braiding the hair or tension or any one of those issues it helps to regrow the hairline and pure it helps to thicken the hair and it is it is salt free and guys when you talk about moisture this is the only oil that i find to be moisturizing on its own it's very moisty it's very moisturizing on its own so this oil you can add it to your hair and yeah. your hair is super so super duper soft my hair is so soft right now it's just bouncy you understand yeah. I feel it. like watch it, watch it, watch it. Look at it. It just a bounce. So, if you need the Jamaican black castor oil, pure Jamaican black castor oil, and this is our number one seller, guys. Um, this has been ordered all all over the world. People are ordered the number one seller, the castor oil. Latonia, good morning. <laughs> and we also provide handmade soaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, handmade soaps. This one is our turmeric and sea moss soap bar. And when you bathe with it, it makes your skin feel so supple. You feel like a teddy bear. Yeah, I just like it because it makes me feel very teddy bearish. 
um, official Jamia said it's great in our condition treatment. Yes, you can add the castor oil to your conditioner. So we have to say yes. <laughs> what that? What what you about? can add it to your styling product, like your moisturizer. That's what I do, and so you get the benefit of it every step of the way. Yes. And then we also have this one. Let me just show. We have different. We have different flavor soaps, you know, guys. Different flavor soaps. We have the lemongrass. We have the eucalyptus mint. We have the activated charcoal and turmeric together, and we have the sea moss and the turmeric together. And we have some new soap I come. We have some new soap I come. <laughs> guys, I'm not taking already. And I feel lively up on myself in that one day. <laughs> All right. So this one now is the Jamaican black castor oil mascara. Yeah. All right. So if if oh, you shave off your eyebrow. No, guys, for real, seriously. Oh. No, wait. I was I had a mishap with my brow the other day. In that I was trying to shave my eyebrows grow terrible. One of them grow high. Don't say that your eyebrows is very No, cute. for real, seriously. And you see it on videos. I like one it. of them grow high and one of them grow low. And one of them grow in this direction. See the high one here, Miss Bay? And one of them grow in this direction naturally, and the other one just grow you know normal. So I was trying to shape up my eyebrow. Boom now. And this one big out. See, <laughs> see, you see it look big out? It was! I mean, let me use that. There's something big out my eyebrow and I had to... Right, I use this, I use this for like five this. days, guys. Literally, I use the castor oil mascara. And this is not just castor oil because it can be used on the lashes and the brows. And so because of that, you have to ensure that the grade of the oil is different. It can't be as strong as your regular castor oil. So don't just go grab your regular castor oil and attempt to put it on your eyes. Because, um, because it, will, it, will yeah, it will be a problem. So I apply that and my eyebrows grow back in in no time in a number of days. So yeah, try this out. Awesome. Amazing. And it's enriched with vitamin E, which also helps, you know, to make, to make the brows healthier. <laughs> Alright, so we also have this. This is our baby, guys. Why is this our baby? Because it's the first product that we, it's our firstborn, first product that we created and created from scratch, formulated, add, add ingredients, minus ingredients, subtract, divide, um, multiply until we got the perfect formula, the perfect blend. Why is it perfect? Because it's suitable for all hair types. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. Some people here requires heavier oils. Some people yeah, because my year, my year not like the heavy oil. <laughs> Some people here require lighter oils, but with this perfectly blended um, nourishing oil blend, it's suitable for all hair types. And it's amazing on the scalp to keep the, the scalp from getting overly dry. It, it can be used it for um, hot oil treatments and just to give the hair a nice healthy shine and to lock in the moisture for longer. So yeah. So One True Natural can be ordered on our website at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash One True Natural. Again, www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash One True Natural. Or you can order directly from us on the same number 305-204-1270. Alright? Mm-hmm. You think the fish ready? No, no, no. Give it a more time. But let me show you guys the the turn for me right now to see what it's doing. Alright. And everybody prefer their their turn cornmeal to have a different texture. I think this is okay. It's not too hard. And it's not too soft. And in other countries, it is called polenta. Right. So this is actually Barbados's national dish, right? Yeah. Cuckoo. Polenta. Cuckoo. 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 Yeah, they call it cuckoo. And as a matter of fact, what what happens with most of them is that they will cook it like this, and then once it gets um, cold, mm -hmm. it hard up, and then them fry it. Oh, and believe it or not, I see five star restaurants mm -hmm. selling this polenta. You know. Oh yeah. Remember that nice um, restaurant we went to on the water in Hollandale? Mm hmm Juniper. Juniper on the water. On the water. Yeah. So, I think it probably on the last leg. We're just waiting on the fish now, and then we can do the plating. Yeah, I think this is a good texture. What do you guys think? 
I think so, I should have taste it for the making now. Yeah, let me know if it need anything. It smell alright, but I don't know about the taste. Let me grab a big spoon. Me, big spoon. No, but you, hey, hey, man, I really want to taste this pan camera, you know? Yeah. Because any of this bun me, you know, man. I mean, me a ball, you know. I'll try to taste it, guys, but me not showing on my face. Because me not make, good. <laughs> me not make this bun me. Mm -hmm. This ever burn me. I'm going to try to I'm ready for mine. I'm ready for mine. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for my, my girl. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, you know? And the corn is a good added. Oh, you know, you can put, people sometimes put okra in theirs. No, I come off I live. That's because, it. But because we already have okra all over the place. No, I come off I live. Because I me, 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 me need my food now. I don't really think I need to on live at all. Right. So guys, I'm working in the back. Oh, oh my God! Look what happened out there, sir. What? Babes. What? Really? The whole pan of paint turn over. You lie. And 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 mess up the it's back. It's open. Yard. <sighs> Are you serious right now? Boy, I mess here. Guys, of them get the deal and the steel pan of pan of paint and the something turn over. Oh, I'm so... oh my lord. Wow. That's crazy. Then no it it also affect the grass. <clears throat> yeah. The old gallon bucket of paint turnover. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look up. Pete, the whole thing turn over for you. Wow. I just see at the door turn it over so don't put it back there. Look like it's a door, knock it over. I don't have plans for the painting, you know, man. Sure. It's one of them things that a family goes through. Mm -hmm. yes, guys, I was planning to let now that we've seen that I was planning to wait in there, put stop the shed. Mm -hmm. You know, move the, we clean the shed out, so we're planning to put the stuff from in the front, mm -hmm. in the garage, into the back, into the shed. Mm -hmm. And and so I just catch the door, you know. And was doing whatever, and then we come do the live. So why open? Or, or why? I left it open because I was doing the live. I was remember I was doing back and forth. In. So because I knew the live was about to start, I just leave it and come start the live. No, no, but back. I'm saying why is the paint pan open? I don't know how the paint pan left open. I don't know. I, I, that's what, my... babe? You see, you know, it's up never turn over again. It's empty. Not empty. Yeah. Don't worry about it, guys. The good thing about it is, I went to Home Depot so you can get more under the leading of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I got that full five gallon of paint for $30. And I did paint the shed with it. So I was saving it because it is, um, it is one of them hard type of paint where waterproof, water resistant and everything. So I was saving it. But what is to be, must be. Isn't that a paint that was supposed to paint on driveway? Mm-hmm. So you win. No, I'm not winning. You win. No, I don't win. You see the smile. I see the smirk. And you never like the color. 
I see a smirk. See there, right there, forming right there. <laughs> I see the smirk. You never like the color. Oh, guys, nice. remember, I was telling you guys that. Oh, I go for two of them flowers that look, I put for my look. food. Remember, I'm telling us I'm a skeleton girl. I could have actually cut the skeleton today. The yellow, look in the yellow part. Focus on the yellow part. You see how it grew up? We actually have skeleton could cut. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. P, you know, so you're something like a whole on for dear life. The mint. Yeah. The mint, it looks like it's coming back. Yeah. Mm hmm And those things over there that he's picking, those are edible flowers. Ooh. So you can put that in the fish? Mm -hmm. I see the tomato look like it revived. It was dying yesterday. Guys, real life. But that was it. And look at the mango tree. The mango tree has grown so much because we started to be more intentional about watering it. When the rain falls, it does you very well. Fall on one man <laughs> so we know when it's growing because you see the, the leaves at the top get brown. I guess when the, the leaves just um just come out, they are brown in color and then they change to green. So yeah, you guys can soon get mango from us. So I'm gonna say, yeah. Back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen, back to the kitchen, back to the kitchen, we say back to the kitchen because we don't know why this something don't, don't uh, uh, finish. Mm, uh, 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 uh. You are a beautiful couple. <laughs> couple? Couple. Oh, look what he's doing, guys. I have to show you this. This is so it. So you just dump them in water? This is your phone. If you don't know if it's my make sure switch. Say, you keep it clean. Yeah. If there's any insect inside. I've never eaten... Um... So you just dump them in water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna know if the fish, well, I forgot to check on the fish to see if it's done, cause I think it's overdue. Overdue. You hear the sizzle? You hear your sizzle? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fishing is a baby now. <laughs> nope, not ready. So not ready. Is Probably it that way? Turn the stove up. Yeah, but every time you turn it up, no, broil on. only cooks the top. Broil yeah. cook everything, darling. For real? Yeah, man. Every time you turn the, the stove up, it's off a pre-eat again. I really like. Well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. Make the steak something steady and cook. Oh, you're gonna leave it on that? Mm. Well, if I must click start. Why why that run? Why does something there run cross? It's on already, baby. Oh. It depends on auto conventional bake. So you have to stop it and then put brile. Yeah. Yeah. Select like level. What level? One is high, two three low. One high, two medium and three low. So it's broiling now, and that's gonna make it work faster because it's it not all the way to the top. Okay. All right. So we are gonna serve your 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 turned cow meal in a ramekin. Oh, so the fish is gonna be different from that. The fish. I'm just gonna put the fish on this platter. Um, you know. Guys, our apologies for you know the delay. What part of Jamaica is Yard Belly TV? Miss Burke, we're in we're in Florida, Miss Burke. We are in Florida now, originally from Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, by way of Saint Elizabeth, Jamaica, and Clarendon, Jamaica. Oh, she probably asked him where mommy is. What part of Jamaica is what? Why she say you had the TV? Oh, <clears throat> I visit Jamaica two times. I love it. Oh, okay, so you're, where are you from, Miss Burke? Are you are you um? From another country? 
where are you from mamala lens good morning is that the red snapper fish yes it is the red snapper it is it is a red snapper fish um, right. what did you tell me to do you asked me what i'm yeah what you want to clear yeah, we yeah, need yeah. one of the ramekin yeah the ramekin thing we need the ramekin right. hold on we're coming that's the one in the box no leave the time just add some water to the plant create some steam okay. oh That's help to cook it okay we never know that so we can still do that now or? yeah because we have some water in the kettle you know? Yeah, because it's a, it's a written in there. Broiling. So, guys, she, she's doing what was suggested, you know? And, guys, you know what I'm happy about? Let me tell you what I'm happy Put more. Let me tell you what I'm happy about, guys. We don't claim to be no. We're not know it all. Know it all. We do our work and we do the best we can with what we have. And if you guys are making suggestions, we're taking their suggestions and we're working with them. So, thank you guys again for your suggestions. You know, that's a good idea to create a little bit of steam. All right, that's good, babes. All right, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, my ramekin. See here, baby. I'll just take it out. Oh. This one. Yeah. You want two? Yeah. One for me. One for, one for you. you. <laughs> Too short for your camera. So guys, we are just a minute, an uh, hour and a half into our cooking mm -hmm. um, escapade for today. So it's bear familiar. with us. Yeah, we're still up on it with something. With something. Well, you know what? People have people have more more um terrible disasters dealing with. Because I'm saying sometimes when you when you have a mishap. Even though it seems um, like something very simple, it still affects you. We have so, the paint. Not wrong with the paint. You never want it? Yeah, but what may I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. You have the, to come up far away, then. The paint, the paint, do what me want it to do, you know, buy the paint, the shed. mellowed out so much, I'm proud. Remember, you know, I bought the paint to paint the shed, don't it? Yeah, but I thought you wanted to give it another coat. No, what? what? And then after me got you all of that, and you then, want to another coat? There's a little, there's some boards that need to be added at the bottom that would need to be painted. You know, Sam, you know, Sam, you're not adding a board though. Why? The Lord just showed me said the board is necessary because I'm dashed the paint. Mm. As I him blow breeze, I him make lightning and thunder, and I mean. The foil and the hot water create the steam. Yes, that's why I love watching you guys. You are all amazing. You are all, you're all amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Monique. All right. And guys, can you tell her when she's standing up on the counter, she stop, push out her bottom? Thank you. Because every time I pass, I have to bounce you. I don't think, I think you're purposely doing that. I don't have to bounce you every time I pass. Stop trying to make me bounce up on you. Because I'm very, very decent. I don't want to come bounce people. Right, Tanya Johnson? Ooh. I don't want to share my thing now until the appropriate time. Yeah. Okay? I don't want to share my thing until the appropriate time. I don't want to share, share my thing. Until the appropriate time. Alright, so. Any good chef cleans up their kitchen. Yeah. The board, the food share. Why you look over for me when you talk? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Any good chef? <clears throat> Clean up your kitchen before they share the food. Tanya? Hmm. How you doing, Tanya? Gwen Lewis, do not laugh. Do not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
rack, the rack, if the rack was closer mm -hmm. to the top, it would um it would um it would do a better job. Is the rack off? Oh. But I'm not gonna pressure it. Never leave it alone. There was a time. Remember there was a time when we didn't have the use of the oven? Mm-hmm. There was a time when we didn't have the use of the oven. So we ain't complaining. Guys, I'm working here. Oh, you put it? No, no, no. No, just calm down, calm down. Oh, um, no, no, move it. It's coming down, 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 it's coming down. When the soup, the, the roast beef is... Guys, did you watch our live yesterday? Yesterday morning we were live at the botanical gardens in our area. That was, that was good. It was super duper that nice. That was super duper, duper, duper. I wish I could be out there every single morning. Just to take in the beauty. It was very, very good. Very, very good guy. I was very inspired just to see their collection of the orchids because now I'm an orchid mom. Ooh. This is what we're gonna work with today. With our, our dish. Yeah, more Heineken. Yeah? <laughs> more Heineken. <laughs> No, man, come on, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. What's wrong with Anakin, guys? <laughs> I'm doing very well, sis. Awesome. But you know, my five stars up, mom. Will you leave me alone, my girl? Hmm? Why you don't leave me alone? That means I'm going to start. I think I'm going to go to Wow, that's beautiful. Alright, well, you can rinse out this thing, really. Alright, and then you're going to take some of the. today official Jimmy I said pretty nice you know say you know say you know say me need for me need for go culinary school me need for go culinary school cuz if if me no you no need culinary, to go to culinary school as a teacher hear you <laughs> if me no culinary incline and I go on so you can imagine if me did culinary um training and dramatic where the word may look the word and the word that wait where the word is very culinary if me was very culinacious eh? if I was more culinary you say Tanya on and I share the words guru Tanya I need the word if I was more culinarily art Cunilingus, no, that's on a word. No, 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 nobody ever that one. That's not the right word at all. At all. That's not the right word. That's not the right word. I am pre I, I repeat. All right, so you know, so when you do steam fish in America, every time that you purchase anything with, with seafood, them always make sure so them put lemon in it. Mm -hmm. So you have to come good. No guys, it might go hard. Hear me again. Why? Pure foolishness me after this morning now. Yes, you have to come good. So, um, 
No, you're, not, you're supposed to forward right. That's the word. Get up from me. You need a therapy. You know. You want all other Jamaican men need help. Wow. Why would you Maybe. say that? Hmm? What? No, fuck me. the one I want, man. <laughs> no, no, the lower one, the lower one, my girl. How this looking, guys? I think this presentation. I may put the file paper down, you know. I put down the file paper. You understand? You understand? Guys, thank you all for hanging out with us this morning. You know? You guys are the real MVPs. You guys are the real MVPs, as the wifey said. Awesome. Now we're just waiting for the Piesta Resistance. Mm -hmm. When you guys go to the five star restaurant, then on have to sit down and wait for the food, you know, so please don't come for us. <laughs> on have to sit down and wait for the food. And if you're not black, plus? If you're not black, you have to wait longer. Plus, you have to pay money. And then I put in it over the black section. Anybody have experienced that going to a, a big restaurant and then putting it in our black section? With a lot of other black black diners just sitting in one direct one place like them just posting over one side of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. No, I'm serious, it happened. Anybody ever experienced that? Guys, tell the truth to God love and shame the devil. Have you ever been to a restaurant and just felt like them just put you in at the black section? Or put you in a back. Yeah, I run I look a section where just you know, feel like you're in at the main side of the restaurant. Where's it? You spend your money. La Latona Jackson says she's loving it. You spend your money and go to this big restaurant, right? And them put you know, in one corner, oh, run wow. one part, run one place. <laughs> and the waiter, them are bounce against you know, the food have come over on the head. I want to just, no, I'm telling you, I've been there. I've been there. So I know that I'm talking the truth. You understand? The truth hurts, but it is not an offense, that's all. This must plan Latona, say, La Latona says yes. You know, she been there. Then put you on one part in the restaurant. And, and, and then them take long. For come, for come, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. That's why I say, me cook my food in my yard, you know. Me prefer cook some food and go to the beach. You understand? Now to go to some of them restaurants. Eh? And you, all, the, all the waiting staff are pass you like, them give you the little water and the bread and put them on the table and let you up. And you're in a limbo just sit down. So. <laughs> like yesterday, we, we were on the road until late. And we, were, we stopped at about three different spots, restaurants, trying to decide what to eat, guys. <laughs> we bought nothing. We came right to our yards and we made our own Sad delicacy and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going about three oh restaurants. Delicacy, yes. Gwen says she never noticed what she looked next time. No, no. Well, well. To be honest with you guys, based on where you're located, the the instances of this happening is not that frequent. Based on where you're located, if you're mm -hmm. in in the heart of New York, for instance, you might not see that happen because them deal with a lot of different races and a lot of different, what you, you know. know what Right. Restaurant. You know? So, but if you go, say for instance, you leave New York and you go certain part of Long Island, or you go certain part of Manhattan, you go upstate New York, you will find that. You know, if you if you're there at Florida, for instance, and you go Balaba. You know? You go um not, not Miami Beach. If you go Aventura, certain place where Trust me, you know, and again, it's also, it's also based on the particular place. It's not just the area, but the particular place. Because some places, them, the things say you need, like, them look at you like, why are you here? Yeah, when you go some places, that you're walking and they like, yesterday, we're going to one Thai restaurant. Uh-oh, let me talk about this, guys. Oh. Yeah. Are you telling me? You were the one that told me to ask. I'm mean, nobody Yo. food over there. Yo, Gwen. Gwen, we have to tell you that one, Gwen. <laughs> Gwen. Last night, we're going to our Thai restaurant. Place look 
from outside it look very unassuming. So we think I want to go cook shop type of place. So we just say, well, oh, because she said, I want fried chicken. No, hear this. Me want that she pregnant to them. Guys, me want that she pregnant. Listen to this. Yesterday she said, she want sardine and crackers and fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, take the case and give me the pillar, Jesus. Sardine and crackers and fried chicken. <laughs> so, we're going at the Thai restaurant because Windix said, locked down no chicken. You know, it was late. Yeah, I said to her, I said, ask the people them about the, about the, Thai, about the fried he chicken. He said, man, forgot to ask Thai people for fried chicken. When we walk in at the place, the place full of people. When we walk in at the place, the place full of people. We're like, what? From outside, you just see one nice, one, one regular small looking, looking, small looking, unassuming. Hole in the wall type. Yeah, one dark looking place with one open sign. When we walk in there, in there was filled with people sitting down and dining. And I'm like, Babe, all the water dry up at the pan. Put more water. I was like, this, this is, this is crazy. This something is going on here that we don't know. Why is there eight o'clock at night? The inn is so full of people. So hear me now to her. Ask the man if he make fried chicken. Hear she. Hello, sir. <laughs> her nice chirpy voice, you know, because she was, you know. Hi, sir. Do you have fried chicken? <laughs> the man said. The man said, fried chicken. The man said, look out and do go up the stairs to a Chinese restaurant. Gala up the god for fried chicken. <laughs> The man said, Oh, come now, you're so with that. The man said, Right the place so near to Windex, so look there, say, so one Chinese place. Them have fried chicken up there. We not have such things down here. And this is a good restaurant place. Hear me? Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I beat a hasty retreat. The man looked probably like, and, and then, you know, say, I'm very fancy you now. Oh, fried chicken? Oh, oh, no. Oh. You know what? Look up there, you see a nice Chinese restaurant. Go up there, ask them for fried chicken. We don't have such things down here. <laughs> so I say, thank you, thank you so much. You know, I'm say, okay, bye, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm caught. <laughs> I say, Ashim, 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 Ashim. <laughs> Latona, trust me i just leave or don't come back i pa just pass the word about the restaurant in california it's true i mean it, it see latana said it happens depending on the demographics of the area valerie yes it happens you know that people they will treat you a little bit of indifference it does happen i think we're ready now baby we should be yeah what do you think i think okay all right let me let me let me step out on a limb so babes, I like how you exit off of the camera when I talk about the, 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 the issue with the, the Chinaman yesterday. Mm -hmm. What is about the Chinaman? Oh, the man you run here. You just exit out the, off of the, the live so I'm not hear your talk. Alright babes, I think you should go ahead and, and start plating the, the turn on meal. Okay. For the guys to see. Okay. And then we're gonna go next with the with the um the, with the, the fish right after. You don't want a bigger top. spoon, baby? Babe? We can just sprinkle some of the same um... oh, the No, no, oh, you can't put this nice sink on, we can lick it off. <laughs> Oh, maybe we shouldn't say that again. Yeah, it was terrible, guys. Very terrible. Mm. The current family, uh, uh, it has a one And guys, with the pieces of corn in there. Mm -hmm. What's your way, Messy Pepper? Messy, we put such bunny pepper in it, guys. I don't believe it. I just went on out on a limb and put some corn, real corn in it. Never seen it done before, but hey, that's why we name Yardy Belly TV. Because we're not normal. And that's that's fine. That's very, very fine. That's okay. And the longer um, the cornmeal stays um, out and gets colder, it will harden a little bit more. Which I don't necessarily want. Put it on the, the warmer. Oh, yeah. See it there now? 
put some on yours. I said there's something I should have thought the bits. Who was talking about the bits? Let me show you the bits, Kim, because this is gonna be my favorite part for real. See the bottom? Ray. No, my girl, you have to say the lower part. Ray. The burn burn there at the bottom of a buzz. The lower part. Yeah. Why am I turning on this something? You know? Oh it's you don't need to. Because the thing is it's hot. Look at me, I don't know. Just take a little bit of of butter. Mm-hmm. No. Tug of milk. Oh. That's just gonna put a nice circle. And we're using the olive oil butter, guys. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you guys could have gotten a glimpse of our aspirations, it would be mind blowing. <laughs> we need to probably write it. But yeah, we need to write, write down. Need Trust need me, we have so many visions and aspirations, guys. Because can you imagine two if guests, we're, yeah, we're a couple, guess. come yeah. on, this is... Oh, Jesus, <laughs> help us. <laughs> help us, Lord. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You cannot put it on that. Over here. I can put it here, baby. Oh. All right, let's see what happens now. Come. Yeah, man. Uh, See juices. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Shoshana V. Good evening to you. Shoshana V. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other part of the name? <laughs> good evening to you. Good. Oh, well, uh, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey guys, it looked like it's something not going. This is done. Something went. This is done. Wow. The bonus smell it, man. Nice. This is not. We need a real. We need that this is nice, real. Why don't I make reels there? Babes, you can't do everything at the same time, darling. That's why I don't make reels while I'm doing the live. If, if you're going to put the camera down, then you can do the reel. But if you have the camera in your hand, one is going to suffer for the other. So guys, this is the presentation here, Medusa. Because if, if if we had company over, right, and we had do this for them, I some of that presented, you know. Okay. You would you would try to lift it off of the fire. No, sir. Make it rustic. Mm -hmm. You know? What do you think, guys? So are you gonna put that on the On the plate, plate yeah. Mm. What? With the flowers and everything? That's why I did that. What do you think I should have take off, tried to take off the fish off the and put it on that platter? No. This is Jamaican fish. I saw me present it. Guys, tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong. I present it pan this, pan the file paper. I saw we know it. I saw we grow up and, and used to eat fish. Mm -hmm. You get one, 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 one disposable plate and you put this pan it right so. Right so. Quite so. Follow me, the man. Follow me, the man. You get two thumbs up and a Z. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, a roast fish, man. Used a wooden board to make it rustic. <laughs> right. A, run, a wooden board would have been perfect, guys. Nice. Yeah. And you can sprinkle a little more cilantro. Mm -hmm. What about crushed red pepper? You want that? These are your ends. <laughs> you can put down your ends. Why is mine that? Because you like the pepper. If it go on it, it would be yours. But I think it would add a nice little arm. Okay. Yeah. This is our roasted, stuffed roasted fish. Stuffed with 
hallelujahs and okras. Mm-hmm. Nice Jamaican vibe. Right here in PSL. And on the side, we have our delicious polenta or turn corn meal. Mm -hmm. So the thing set. Guys, my hope they wanna like that one and and would be willing to try this one in your neck of the woods. May I take some thumbnail pictures, guys? Mm -hmm. And once we do the thumbnail, the wife can can sample it. Awesome. This is just awesome. Yeah, original Jamaican roast fish. Yeah, with okra and kalalo and some polenta or ton kamia. Yadi belly TV. Yeah, man. Look on the thing, man. It has shell on the whole place. May I tell you the truth. May I tell you the truth. The truth for God love. Yeah, man. Yadi belly TV. All right, babes, you can go do your thing now. Go ahead. Oh, so we got. Yeah, so guys, we're not ignoring you. We're just trying to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we're trying to get a good thumbnail, guys. Bear with us, I promise you. <laughs> it's just it's just pretty wanna think guys let me see some comments let me see some comments looks delicious official jamie says i'm on my way <laughs> sashana big up yourself sashana blessed still is this my sashana eh? is this my sashana when you mcc mm? <laughs> big up yourself big up yourself big up yourself look at this man <laughs> yes, that's not it not dash off my girl you want to remove it let me remove the turn con me what <laughs> you know Sarah's craveness <laughs> guys who said me must end the video and do a mukbang <laughs> hmm? turn it for me baby who said I must end the video and do a mukbang Mm, who says to end the video and do a mukbang? Turn it right around, please. Thank you. Yeah, right there, sir. Right there, sir. Right there, sir. Official JVS and me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let me just officially close this video. If the wife wants to go ahead and do another one, she can go ahead and do it. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. Big up on yourself. And Yadi Belly TV say, manners and respect. And remember always, live and laugh, cook, and eat some food. You understand? Enough respect. Shashana say, look good, good. <laughs> it look good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember me tell you, bye, Tanya Johnson. Bye. <laughs> no, man, it look good, man. It look good for you. All right, we're gone, we're gone. Bye-bye.